Welcome to the Coach's Vault. I'm Brian Brazil, and today we're going to go over Perfect Pentagon. So Perfect Pentagon is a great dodging drill, uh, especially on setting up your initiation for a dodge, um, learning how to naturally re-dodge, and learning how to hit holes hard. Something I talk to my guys about at every level is, you know, running through your man, um, not necessarily trying to make it around his six-foot pole or, you know, 40-inch uh, short stick. So the setup for this drill is simple. You set up cones in the shape of a pentagon. And you have one cone that's a separate color from all the others. So right here, I've got a setup so we'll be dodging across the wing like this um, on what I call, you know, a 90, if you figure a 90 degree angle right here. Um, but you could also set it up here so it's on your 45s um, and it would look like this. Here's your exit cone. And then your other four cones become like this. So. We're trying to get out on either side of the channel from our, our exit cone, which is a different color. So um, over here, what we're going to do is on the coach's whistle, both players, defensive and offensive player, will go out and around a cone. Now the offensive player has his choice of either of the two base cones to go around, and the defensive player can go around any of the three cones. So if you're a coach that really likes to emphasize taking away high side, you'll probably go around that cone. If you want them squared up from the wing, then you'll go around that cone. Um, if the player, you know, just isn't thinking and goes around the bottom cone, it's a good coaching point to be like, hey, you're giving this guy high side on your approach or you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. But as they go around each cone, then they engage in the, in the pentagon. And you'll see our spacing outside when we go to the field. It's probably about a five-yard square. And we're just going to go straight into a one-on-one. -on -one. And this defensive player is trying to stop you from getting out of the two shoots, one being here and one being here. Um, the offensive player is trying to do a little bit of deceptive maneuver. You know, maybe if he goes around the low cone, he's attacking this high side shoulder and takes it underneath. If he goes around the high cone, he's attacking the low side shoulder and takes it high side. Um, the other thing that's great about this is if the initial move doesn't work and he's about to run out of space, he's not going to over carry and he's going to learn to re-dodge quickly to get out the opposite way. Once that player breaks out of the cones, he's released by the defensive player to then cook across the middle or down the alley and take a shot. So it turns into a shooting and dodging drill as well. Um, if the defensive player does a good job and forces him outside the cones and he can't make it out one of the two shoots, coach blows the whistle and this player does not get rewarded with a shot. So we're using the shot as a reward um, for a quality dodge that allows you to get out and get into a shooting space. So we'll go over it on the field right now. All right, so this drill is Perfect Pentagon. We just drew it up for you on the board. Now we're going to go live here. Um, just remember, on the go call, right, the offensive player is coming around one of these top two cones. Defensive player is going around one of the three bottom cones. They're going to meet in the middle, and it turns into a one-on-one. -on -one. What the defenseman's trying not to let the offensive player do is get through the middle of these cones down here. All right, so guys, let's go one uh, full speed and see how it looks. Ready? Go. Good. And we're doing it, you can do it from anywhere on the field. We're doing it from up here just so they can work on getting a shot off with somebody in their hands. Let's get two more guys up and we can just keep it rolling, guys. Go. Good job. Good, Dylan. We're going to bump the cones out a little bit more. Ready? Go. Good. So right there, that would be a win for the defense because the offensive player didn't get through the cones. Go. Get around, Dylan. Good. Good, Jack. Good, Jack. Get separation. Good. Dylan, grab a couple. Dylan, just grab that bucket. OC, back up a little bit. There we go. Set. Go. Good. So real quick, all right, one thing that I'm seeing, you know, these guys, this is the first time that they've done it. So if Hampy's playing defense on me and I'm going, you know, right there you probably saw OC kind of slow down a little bit when he made, you know, uh, connection with his um, defenseman, right? So here we go. Set, go. We're coming around. 
we don't want the offensive player to slow down, right? If he slows down and then leans into him, Hampy's going to be able to push me wherever he wants to go. We have to hit this full speed. As we come around this cone, we want to go as fast as we can, maybe give him a shift, and then get through it as fast as we can, get our hands free, and get that shot off nice and quick, all right? Don't slow down, guys. Go full speed. Here we go, Barden. Go. Good. Make that dodge hard. Good. Hands free. Good. Hampy, push him right through X there. Don't give up on it. Go. Good job. Go. Stick out in front. Good. Now jam him. Good, OC. Good, Dylan. Break down. Good job. So that was a win for the defense there. Barton, we got to get through those cones. Get through those cones. Ready? Go. Good. And that is perfect Pentagon. We'll see you next time on the vault.